Good afternoon, everybody. It's Matt Croissant over at Kia of Columbia. Once again, getting you some information on the 2022 Kia Telluride S in dark moss with a gray interior. So, first up, got the new badge. Let's go. Also, on the grill, updated. We've got the single halogen projector beam headlights with the white LED ring here on the S model. And real quick, everybody give a big congrats to Emily over in Tennessee. We work with people nationally on these vehicles and this one's going to her next weekend. So we can see we've got some 20 inch wheels on the S model. This is a great value pack. You get a sunroof up above too. You get the chrome body side molding on the handles as well as wrapping around the window. Turn indicators on the mirrors with blind spot monitors too. Now back here on this model, you get the halogen taillights here. So these are not LED, uh, no lift gate power on here too. So just keep that in mind. You've got a manual lift gate on the back here. We've got rear parking sensors, heated back glass with a rear wiper and sprayer. Got the rails up above beautiful looking vehicle. We can go ahead and check out the Telluride in dark moss here in the sun. Such a nice earthy color here. Beautiful looking vehicle for sure. Hmm. So nice. Let's go ahead and take a peek inside and see what the vehicle has to offer for you. Gray interior. We got the gray Syntex in here, so not a lot of stitching pattern on here, but that's okay. Leather is standard. Power locks, windows, and mirrors. No power folding on this model, but all four windows are automatic. You get the nice uh, combo window child lock here, some great storage in the doors. Standard sound system with this model too. To the left, we've got dash illumination, blind spot monitors, lane keep assistance, and retraction control. Power driver seat is also on here. It's gonna be 10 way adjustable for you. Hopping on in. Starting to get a little hot. We're gonna go ahead and turn this up to 72 degrees. Using our automatic climate control, it's gonna automatically tune down the climate for us a little bit there, lowering that fan speed. Steering wheel, leather wrapped on this model here for you. We're gonna go ahead and unlock it, tilt it down. And it can also telescope for you, so you can move it in and out for yourself as well. Over here, we've got all our entertainment. Voice recognition, mode button. First time you press that, it's going to bring up your audio source selection. So you don't have to scroll through everything um, on the steering wheel here. You've also got volume control. These treaded buttons are going to be pressable on here on either side. Okay for easy location while you're driving. Tracks and presets. You've also got Bluetooth here too. On the right hand side, we've got driving information tools, page button and selector for your drive display and your smart cruise features. So on this smaller display here that you get on the S, and this is the same uh, from LX all the way up to EX Premium, you're going to get uh, your drive screen here, which will show fuel economy, accumulation info based off the last oil change, drive info based off the last time the vehicle started, digital speedo, and your drive modes. Drive modes can be located here. The vehicle's currently in smart mode. So based on your pedal usage, it can change shift points, tuning, and steering feel too. That's gonna change the sport, comfort, and eco for you automatically. You also have a dedicated snow mode and a center differential lock for more all wheel drive features and capability. Moving back up here, you can also see our current cardinal direction with the navigation screen, which is now standard on the Telluride. This will also show you um, a little checkered flag here showing you how far away you are from your destination. Then you've got your safety and convenience screen. We're gonna go ahead and turn on our lane keep assist, showing you when the lines on the road are registered. You can also see your driver attention system, making sure you're staying safe while you're driving on those longer trips. You've also got your all-wheel drive screen showing you your steering angle as well as uh, output for power from the wheels and onboard tire pressure information. Lastly, we've got all of our different settings. So um, a little bit more limited than the SX that I just did, of course, but you can uh, you know, get your uh, all of your safety and conveniences kind of set for you know, just alerting or actually assisting you door features, lights, 
sound. Go ahead and turn on the welcome sound. Emily's gonna be so excited. She's already pumped enough. What a great opportunity for her coming about this. So um, that's it for your settings. To the right here, we've got um, our cruise control features. Smart Cruise, you turn this on, then you can set your speed and then choose four different following distances for the Telluride to maintain for you on the highway. Awesome feature for sure. And that's about it for the steering wheel. Left-hand wand, you're gonna get your automatic headlights on here. This does not include high beam assist. You gotta have the premium headlights on there, the full LEDs. So no high beam assist, which would turn the headlight or the high beams on and off for you. Right-hand wand will control your front and rear wipers for you with their respective sprayers up above. S model gets you a sunroof. Again, great value pack. It gets you all the niceties. And just to touch on that, you get sunroof, heated seats, and on this model now, wireless charging pad, captain's chairs, and the 20-inch wheels. Great little value pack stepping up from the LX. Um, you've got some nice lighting here, full LED. Turn that on there. This is for your UVO link controls. So your information assistant, your virtual assistant, uh, contacting for your UVO account help, and then roadside assistance issues and emergencies. This will also be on your phone. The phone number is on the door right here. UVO link is great. Um, you get it for a whole year. Sunglass holder, standard rear view mirror, 10.25 inch navigation screen. Let's go ahead and head to the home screen here real quick. We can see time, temperature, media information, quick peek at the map, and a gesture to swap it on over, just like your phone. We've got our map, navigation menu, phone, phone projection for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which does require a hardware connection to that center USB port. You can record voice memos in the car, put your vehicle in a valet mode if you have the uh, Uvo Link services activated. You can activate passenger talk here, which turns the vehicle into a PA system, also a standard feature on the Telluride. So you can talk to people in the back, people in the back can talk to you. Uh, pretty cool feature. We can hit end here, or more conveniently for the driver, we can go ahead and just hit the end button for ending a phone call. You can also see right there for a moment, we're able to run two applications at once. So you can choose the content that's over here. You can really add more in there if you want as well. Quiet mode is gonna reroute volume to the front speakers, turn it all down to seven for you. We've also got rear climate you can bring up on board. I've got everything synced up to 72 degrees. I recommend using automatic climate control as much as possible so you can auto dehumidify and auto defog for yourself as well. Then we've got HD radio data, radio information, various settings you can go through, um, your media, Sounds of Nature app, provides a bunch of ambiences for yourself, and Uva Link as well as notifications and digital users manuals. We've got some nice large vents here. All these are openable and closable. Then we've got uh, centrally located analog controls right here. Climate control area will be here. It's all set to 72 and automatic. We've got three-step heated seats up front here. Nice little storage area. Just mash that to close it. Mash it again, let it bottom out and it'll open back up. Two USBs, one 12 volt. And again, your wireless charging pad will be right here for you. Let's go ahead and move our guides out of the way. Got our sold sign right here. It's always nice to have. Shifter, got the eight-speed automatic paired up to the 3.8 liter V6. Putting the vehicle in reverse. It's gonna turn on your backup camera and give you a nice rear parking sensor image here as well. So this backup camera comes with projected pathing. Yellow lines are showing you where you're traveling to. Blue box is showing you where you're currently at. As long as nothing is in between these two, theoretically, you won't impact with anything. That's how the technology works, okay? Now, say we want to put the vehicle in drive here, but first we're gonna turn on auto hold. Pressing this button, turns on auto hold on the tachometer there. You see me making that flash. Now we're gonna put the vehicle in drive. That text is now green. So now I can remove my foot from the brake here. So if I'm at a stoplight or anything like that, stand still, no problem. The vehicle's holding itself in place. Everything is connected, foot to the leg, to the hip, to the spine, and you know, so um, just another convenience, helping reduce fatigue while you're in the vehicle. It's really nice, okay? Putting that back in park. While we're down here, that technology is used with your electric parking brake. You've got start-stop technology that's measuring, can I keep the engine at a good temperature? Can I keep my passengers at a good temperature? If so, I'm turning the engine off. I'm gonna save some fuel. 
Lean into the future, folks. I can't believe how many of you don't like this feature. It's tried and true technology. You got a 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty on the vehicle. Come on now. Rear parking sensor controls, cup holders with pressure tongs, a little bit of extra storage here. Center console, give you an extra nice little tray. For some reason, the mat for this comes from the factory as it does out of place every single time. So, got that handled, no problem. Glove box. Felt lined. That's where your owner's manuals go. We got some Sirius XM info in there too. Pretty nice. Last but not least, we got our visors. These are gonna be mirrored, soft LED lit. They've got a clip here. These are also telescope, the full length of the door. Take note that the light turns off automatically. Smart car. All right. So that's gonna be it for the front seating area here. Okay, so um, we'll leave the vehicle on for the meantime. Actually, no. Let's let's go ahead and listen to that welcome sound saying goodbye. Thanks for driving me. All right, cool. So, moving on, electric parking brake automatically engaged as well to prevent any rolling forward or rolling backwards since the door was also open. So, that feature will automatically activate too. Say, if uh, the handoff from the drive through window or something doesn't make it and you're like, crap, I gotta grab that. You open your door, it's gonna automatically engage that parking brake for you to make sure you're safe and the vehicle doesn't go anywhere. All right. Second row, let's dig in. Also, real quick, window sticker. Scrolling here, scrolling. How y'all doing? Nice reflection. S model, all wheel drive with just carpeted floor mats comes out to 3872 five with the dark moss dark moss is no color addition like some of the other colors nice large handles here automatic windows storage down below captain's chairs back here on both rear passenger seats we're going to have usbs grocery hooks and a dual cargo bag and net you get some extra cup holders back here and a 12 volt outlet down below Climate control will be available back here for passengers to use. This is also lockable from the front. We've got nice vents on all three rows up above. There's also ventilation down below on all three rows too. Armrests are adjustable. So you can see when this is leaned back, it's a nice level angle. Just ratchet it up wherever you need it to be. You've got your latch system back here for child seats. To get into the third row, you don't have to snake through the center. You've got one touch slide seating available with a button here. And here, standard feature on the Telluride. Then back here, we've got our third row seating for three more people, where you can also use your latch system for car seats and boosters back here too. We've also got extra cup holders, storage, USB ports as well. Nice. Let's go ahead and get all these vents open real quick. I can't reach. All right, so pretty good, pretty good. All right, we're gonna lock that back in. This will slide back further if you slide it from the bottom first. No worries though, it's all on a rail system for you. Moving back here, manual lift gate, handles right here. It's nice and light, easy peasy folks. Don't feel bad about not having a power lift gate. Got the rear cargo tray back here. I'm just gonna put this all on the ground for the meantime. Got a set of all weather mats, a set of carpeted mats. Heck yeah. All right, so you can see tons of space back here for the third row. You can easily pull this up and just let go. You can do this all one-handed, thankfully for me, right? Switching hands here, pull in here, just let go. Pull your headrest up right here. Center seat belt is tucked in right here. We've got some extra lighting right there for you. Now, if the third row's up, you need more storage in this, no problem, Key's already thought of it. This board slides in right here. You can mash some more items in between here if you like. It's not gonna hurt the board. You can also have some extra volume down here. See our roadside tools peeking out right there. And again, one-handed, this will notch right into place for you. So you can't get it wrong. Nice little pressure plate for that. So that's nice and snug. If we need to go into full cargo mode, choke up on this, it's spring loaded, let it go. I'm not even throwing it. Someone got mad at me because they thought I was being mean to the car. <laughs> That's funny. But anyways, um, if you want more cargo space, two buttons right here. It's going to fold the seats down. Of course, driver's seat is all the way back from my demo right now. But you can see 
got tons of cargo space in this vehicle. Somehow they've taken the interior spacing of a Chevy Tahoe and put it into a smaller form factor. Nice large third row window visibility back here too. So very nice, very nice. 12 volt outlet and again, extra storage right here. This is typically where the subwoofer would go if this had Harman Kardon, but they still make use of the space, which I think is great. Uh, rear ventilation also back here for you folks. This still feels nice and cool from that 72 degree AC flowing through there. So real quick, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get our accessories put back in here. We're gonna get this thing cleaned up, get this stuff installed for our trip on Sunday. I'm actually personally delivering this one out to Tennessee. So if you want help with one of these Tellurides, I'm your guy. We sell them for MSRP, our only fee is $199. Give this a nice swing. You don't have to touch your paint. I'm the master of the lift gate. But that's right, folks. You heard me. MSRP, our only fee is $199. I work with people nationally. If you're close enough to me, I'll bring it straight to you. Let's go ahead and confirm passenger seat adjustability. Manual, four-way, a little bit of extra storage over here for you guys, okay? So that is gonna wrap it up for the 2022 Telluride in dark moss with a gray interior on the S-Trim. Friends, family, viewers, please like and share this video with your friends and family that you have of your own. Leave a comment if you have any compliments, questions, or corrections. And again, a, a great round of applause for Emily on the opportunity that she's had to get one of these vehicles with us. So everybody give a big shout out to her. I make these vehicles personally for the clients just in case I can't meet them, but also for you guys for all your informational and shopping needs. So make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all of the videos I'm uploading for your informational and shopping needs. This is Matt Croissant over at Kia of Columbia. Thank you so much for your time. Contact me at 573-607-2225 or carguycroissant at gmail.com for help with your very own Telluride. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day.